What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Colossal Sports TV. And I am back with another video. Man, oh man, oh man. Why, Keith Thurman? Why, Manny Pacquiao? Would you not enlist Vada testing for your upcoming WBA welterweight title fight? I'll post the link. To the article in the description box down below from 3kingsboxing.com. I wrote the piece that's on the website. And when I seen this, when I learned of this news, I was like, ain't no way in hell that Keith Thurman, a guy who is most people considering on upset alert, is going to let this fly. He's not going to let this fly. He, he's not going to let Manny Pacquiao you know, not be subjected to random by the drug testing. But, hey, little do I know, or what do I know? Keith Thurman said, fuck it. And Manny Pacquiao, I'm like, Manny Pacquiao, at the age of 40 years old, you're not in your physical peak anymore. You're not nowhere in your prime. Still a, a very capable fighter, but let's not kid ourselves here. You are an underdog going into this fight for a reason. And while many people still give you a very good chance to defeat Keith one time Thurman, you're still the underdog. You're still at a uh, age disadvantage. You're at a size disadvantage. Um, and you just have way more mouths on that body of yours than Keith Thurman, even though he's been injured very uh, frequently the last two or three years. But for neither one of these guys to – um, require, demand that VADA random drug testing be a part of this um, whole negotiation, a part of the agreement, a part of everything that needs to be in place is a head scratcher. And yes, neither Manny Pacquiao nor Keith Thurman have tested positive for any banned substance. That is true. But still, especially Manny Pacquiao, you were scrutinized, you were very uh, much critical of or criticized for your reluctance to, you know, sign up for random drug testing when the whole fiasco with him and Floyd Mayweather, will they fight, won't they fight, why won't they fight? Drug testing is the reason. Floyd being scared is the reason. I'm scared of needles if you Manny Pacquiao, blase, blase. And, yes, he finally did it. And he has been with Vada since his 2013 um, knockout win over or I don't know if it was a knockout win over Brandon Rios, but it was a uh, no, it was a points win over Brandon Rios, who subsequently tested positive for a banned substance, um, and that was picked up how because those two guys underwent the Vada drug testing, um, you know, random drug testing program. Pacquiao last fight against Adrian Broner, he was drug tested by the Vada drug test program. And instead for this fight, they both guys would just be, you know, strictly relegated to the Nevada State Athletic Commission um, drug testing protocol, which we know they will pop you, but you can get away with a lot more than you can if you were being drug tested randomly by um, Vada. But this is a head scratcher. Uh, questions um, need answers. Everybody, myself included, are looking at these guys with the side eye like, what the fuck? What you got to hide? And it's going to come up. It's going to come up. If it doesn't come up now, it's going to come up at their media day. It's going to come up uh, in their fight week press conference, fight week interviews. And it's going to come up in the post-fight interview. Um, and the first time either one of these motherfuckers come to the media regarding some controversial, some controversy, uh, saying he felt stronger, I felt weaker, uh, blase, blase. No, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it because nobody told you two goofy motherfuckers not to, you know, require this be a part of the agreement before y'all sign a contract. You know what I'm saying? And I just, I just, for the love of me, I don't understand. I don't know how these two guys' representative said, you know what, that is a good idea. That is a good idea. Y'all don't have to agree to random drug testing. And y'all can just do what y'all want. It, it looks real fishy. You know, you got to give them the benefit of the doubt, even though there's, you know, speculation from a lot of fans, fighters, trainers as well, about Manny Pacquiao and his, and his um, 
you know, drug use, although he hasn't been proven to be, you know, an offender. But they, they those questions stem from him starting, I believe he started his career at 112, 115, and made it all the way up to 154. You know what I'm saying? So he was knocking guys out that was much, much bigger than him. He was able to take shots from guys that would put a normal motherfucker down. And not to say Manny Pacquiao is on drugs because I'm not accusing him whatsoever. You know, maybe he's just that great of a fighter that can take that punch. He has been knocked out before, but, you know, against Cotto, against Margarito, against Joshua Clotty, against the weight drain, Oscar De La Hoya, you know, he, he, he wasn't buzzed. He wasn't hurt whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? Floyd Mayweather wasn't able to hurt him. Outbox him, yeah, but wasn't able to hurt him. And for Keith Thurman, this is his biggest fight of his career. The biggest fight of his career. And you would think that he would want everything to be fair game, even playing field. And people can say, well, Drew, or well, Big Cool, this is a... Uh, this is a fair game because neither one of them get uh, drug tested by Vada. What I'm saying is that, look, if it's a lot of cloud, a lot of suspicion, a lot of raised eyes towards your opponent who, yes, hasn't been – hasn't tested positive for a banned, um, you know, PED or performance or, or HGH or any banned substance, yeah, you know what I'm saying, um, you can give them the benefit of the doubt. But when it's that much, you know, speculation – just to be on the safe side, dot your I's, cross your T's, and put that in the crunk track. So when it's all said and done, if some pop up, you can't say, hey, you didn't know about it. He knew about it. You knew about it. But instead, these two guys are going to go into this WBA welterweight title fight with a lot on the line without knowing what the hell each guy's putting into their body to potentially gain an upper hand. Like I said, Vada didn't have any um, further comment other than to, you know, notify that they have no uh, participation in this fight whatsoever, and that it's strictly on the Nevada State Athletic Commission. So if something pop up, it's going to be on them, the Nevada State Athletic Commission, and on these two fighters in their camps and their representatives to answer the question, why would you do that? Why would you not have Vada testing in place, man? If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you drop those comments in the comment section down below. Give me your thoughts on this crazy-ass situation. If you enjoy the content throughout the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications to be notified every time I upload content. Share these videos all over Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you name it. Until next time, I am out. Peace.